Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to all my new subscribers. Hello you guys. Thanks so much for taking the time out of your day to watch me cook. I'm going to show you guys new recipes. So today, I'm going to show you a super fast, easy way to cook raw scallops, you guys. So I'm just doing the small base scallops. These are ready to cook. They're not frozen. Make sure you have thawed out scallops, you guys. The frozen ones, they take a little bit longer to thaw. And it carries a little bit more water with them, so make sure you have raw scallops. You can use jumbo or minis. We're just using the small base scallops. So let's get your scallops and let's cook. All right, you guys, so the first thing you're going to do is empty out your scallops into the strainer, and you're going to run a little bit of cold water through them. You guys, because these are base scallops, even with the jumbo scallops, sometimes you may have a little bit of sand stuck to them. Make sure you're using cool water. You don't want to use warm water on the scallops. So make sure you got your cold water. Just give them a nice rinse and a toss. Just to clean them off real quick, you guys. Just like so. All right, you guys, the next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna put your burner on medium heat and you're gonna add a little bit of oil to your pan. Just enough to coat the pan, you guys, and then you're gonna move this around and let this cook for a little bit. Let this get nice and hot because what we're gonna do is we're gonna add the scallops in, but you want it to kind of sear the bottom as it's cooking. So you wanna add the scallops into a hot searing pan with your oil. All right, you guys, while we're letting the pan heat up with the oil, we're gonna go ahead and pat these scallops dry, you guys. We don't wanna put the scallops into the pan wet. They're gonna get soggy and they're just gonna be mush. So these scallops, not the rinse, they need to be patted dry, nice and dry before they go into the pan. All right, you guys, so our oil is starting to bubble a little bit. We're gonna go ahead and dump our freshly dried scallops right in here. You're gonna hear it sizzle. That's perfect, you guys. It's exactly what you wanna hear. You wanna hear the hot oil bubbling. And you guys, these cook super quick, so make sure you're just consistently stirring them. Make sure that they're coated with your oil. We're gonna go ahead and get a spoon and mix these in. All right, you guys, so we got our scallops going here. We added some salt, pepper, and we're gonna add half a tablespoon of minced garlic. Make sure to mix that in and keep frying your scallops. All right, you guys, now that we have our seasonings in there, we still have our heat on medium. We're gonna go ahead and take half a lemon and just squeeze that right over top, you guys. Give it that nice citrus flavor, and then mix your scallops into that as well. All right, you guys, and over here on the right side, I'm frying up some thick cut applewood smoked bacon. I'm gonna cook that nice and crisp and sprinkle some crumbles on top of the scallops, you guys. And then we're gonna add some rice to it. All right, you guys, so our scallops are finished searing. I put them in a separate bowl, and then we have our bowl of seasoned white rice right here. You guys, I just did a little bit of salt, pepper, and butter. Nothing too crazy, you guys, because you're gonna get a lot of flavor off of this, the bacon, and then everything else we put in here. So we're just finishing up the bacon. All right, you guys, so I went ahead and finished up my bacon, and I made sure all my pieces were nice and crispy, you guys. So I broke a couple chunks up, just kind of sprinkled them on. I put a full bacon roll up here, you guys. You can crunch that up and mix that around as well, or you can just mix it into the rice. And now you guys, we have the rice underneath, the seasoned rice. We have our base scallops and our shredded bacon pieces, you guys. So I'm gonna go ahead and top this off. With one more thing, I'm gonna put a dollop of the sun-dried tomato pesto right on top. Just like that, you guys. You can use regular basil pesto as well, you guys. I just think that the sun-dried tomato pesto goes along with the rice, the bacon, and the scallops perfectly, you guys. So this is how it turned out. Give me a thumbs up, you guys. Give me a like and subscribe. Let me know what you think, you guys. This looks delicious, smells delicious. You could try this with any other kinds of rices as well, you guys. I just like the white seasoned rice. It kind of goes well. You could use yellow rice as well. Um, and if you want to cut out the bacon, you can substitute that with a couple of the meats as well. You can do like a ground sausage that would taste nice with the scallops. It would kind of give you like a gumbo taste, but that would be very nice as well. So thanks so much for watching. Give me a like and subscribe for more guys.